গতকাল ওরার কথা ছিল কিন্তু অবশেষে আজ সকাল ভারতীয় সময় পাঁচটা বেজে সাতাশ মিনিটে উড়ল ফ্যালকন নাইন রকেট এবং ক্রিউ ওয়ান মডিউলটিকে নিয়ে মহাকাশে পাড়ি দিল আন্তর্জাতিক মহাকাশ স্টেশনের উদ্দেশ্যে যে চারজন মহাকাশচারী পাড়ি দিয়েছিলেন তাদের নাম হচ্ছে মাইকেল হপকিনস ভিক্টর গ্লোভার মহিলা অ্যাস্ট্রোনট স্যানন ওয়াকার এবং জাকসার সৈচি নগুচি চারজন মহাকাশচারী আন্তর্জাতিক মহাকাশ স্টেশনের উদ্দেশ্যে উড়ে গেলেন টোটাল আট ঘন্টার জার্নি আর এই মুহূর্তে চলছে ডকিংয়ের পালা তবে সকাল থেকে যেইভাবে উড়লেন ওনারা যেইভাবে এলেন ক্রিউ মডুলের মধ্যে প্রবেশ করলেন এবং রকেটটি লঞ্চ হলো ও ঠিকঠাক লো আর তরবিটে পৌঁছালো তারই হাইলাইটস এটা আমি আর বেশি কথা বলবো না আপনারা দেখতে থাকুন a handful of stairs to climb uh, to get up to the level where um, the crew access arm is. That's that long suspended walkway. So here they go up the steps. Got to work for it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, they've made it this far. What's a couple more steps? Oh, look how beautiful. It's been a long time since I've had the, the privilege of being up there and seeing that view up in person, but it is just... words don't do it justice yeah. okay so here's a view you can see the NASA worm and on the far end um, that is where the phone is Nicole can be and I and I'm really looking forward to seeing the list of names grow over time it's going to be uh, spectacular to see well you know if, if everything goes um, as planned we'll have the next group of four signing their names there in the spring with crew two we would do we knew the cameras were there we knew our families were watching and we would do like little secret hand signals to our you know our spouses ah, and kids okay. and they'd know it was coming you couldn't say anything but you could do the little love you thing sign language yeah, yeah. but it, um the arrows i know you can't see them on the screen right now but we've mentioned them a couple times those are for emergency egress um if if for any reason the crew had to um get out of the capsule, get out of the white room, and get out of the, get away from the pad in a hurry. That is the, the path, the, the arrows that show them go this way, essentially. And you need something like that because, you know, depending on the situation, you might actually have some smoke or the water deluge system uh, going. And so you just, you tip your head down, you look at the floor, you grab each other and go. Yeah. And if we were to do a quick exit from the tower, uh, we utilize basically baskets that are on zip lines. Uh, and they slide down the wire to safety. And you can see uh, on your screen the crew beginning the ingress process already. So our timeline has this happening at T-minus 2 hours and 35 minutes. So it looks like they may just be starting that um, a little bit early. There are, of course, four astronauts who have to, in to, to ingress. So this, this doesn't happen in an instant. Um, it's a process. But obviously that process has been the checkouts necessary, both in terms of environmental controls, but also communication audio as well. And I wasn't sure, do we have Mike and Shannon already inside? It gets extended out to the capsule, and that helps bridge the gap between the crew access arm and the Dragon side hatch. And this allows for easy entry into the spacecraft. Data and relay satellite system, we also use that for communications with the International Space Station. And then they'll also, you'll hear ground, that refers to several ground stations around the globe uh, that SpaceX had, and upon liftoff, those ground stations will be able to provide a telemetry from Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. There's also about a half a dozen checks to ensure everybody's ready in here. You can see those uh, suit up crew, I've heard people call them the ninjas before. <laughs> It's a pretty apt name. Uh, but they are checking to make sure this is under two and a half hours now, too, uh, before we launch today. As John and I mentioned, weather is still looking good. Just a little bit about the vehicle they're on itself. Crew Dragon and uh, its trunk are about 27 feet tall. That's from the tip of the nose cone to the base of the trunk. Um, under that nose cone, we have bulkhead thrusters. 
thrusters. Those will be used for some of the burns after the crew are already on orbit. And once they launch today, as we mentioned, it's going to take about 27 and a half hours. Okay, just entered stage one bravo abort mode that's going to take them through the end of the first stage burning just before second stage activates off the coast of north carolina t plus one minute and 40 seconds into flight dragon and falcon 9 traveling 709 meters per second that call that MVAC chill is underway, the Merlin vacuum engine. Now we're at the call out of Ember from the ignition for the entry burn on first stage. And we're about two minutes Trying away. To SpaceX. Got the nominal time to slow the vehicle way down. We're going to shed about 70% of the velocity of that dropping first stage by the time this landing burn completes. I should say by the time the entry burn completes, which is now over, first stage to Dragon separation. Currently Dragon is flying at 27,000 kilometers an hour. Today, waiting on that second stage separation, but as you can see, our astronauts from left on the nose cone and reveal those. So, when you watch the video, you can see that the video is very important. It is very important that the docking is open, and the mock station is not open. It is very important that the video is open. It is very important that the video is open.